What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome finally to the instant win nether video episode that you guys have wanted me to make for such a long time. You're gonna see Beacon Rush, and you're gonna see me dominate free for all <laughs> with this. Okay, jumping across the entire freaking map, instant killing enemies with the jump unit on the nether. Ladies and gents, this is also the giveaway announce video, though, for the 200 heavy stake harpoon weapons. Okay, so if you did participate in that giveaway, make sure to check down in this video's video description and pinned comment. There's a Google Doc link with all the 200 winners sorted by ID. Around 30 from TikTok or so, and then the 170 from YouTube. All right, so you know what? Let's go and enjoy this setup here with the nether robot and the four stakes. Really interesting setup. I messed up my first jump. Did you see it? You have to jump later than you normally do it with a strider. I'm used to doing these long dashes with a strider, and on this one, you, you, you need to press jump like a, a 5 milliseconds earlier. And with this one here, you need to wait like 5 milliseconds longer before you jump. And therefore, I messed up my jump. But when I get it right, it looks like this. Okay? So it's gonna be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think I can win a free-for-all match with uh, with just uh, basically 150 meters range uh, on, a, on a dashing nether that doesn't have healing or face shift, but rather uses jump unit? Well, it looks so it looks pretty good so far and his stealth did not protect him either. About the giveaway ladies and gents, there's going to be another one coming pretty soon, I'm sure. Uh, look at that kill steal. Pop. And there it goes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for those giveaways and the other videos, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, yeah, uh, what else? There was something I wanted to say. Mm. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know. It will come in the in the next few minutes, I, I forgot. Uh, did you see, by the way, how much I healed? I basically, I don't have any healing abilities, and did you see how long it took for this harpy to fall down? What the heck? Um, I have uh, I have no healing abilities whatsoever. The only thing that heals me, well, okay, I have the passive pilot healing, but that's really little healing I get. Um, but I have the, uh, the the drone, and the drone heals me every time I uh, I get my kill. And uh, you see it here, it, it it happens any second now, and I even get more gray HP restored as well. Pop, there it goes. Right? This is pretty crazy, man. That's why I think I always say this drone is uh, is too impactful. It's too powerful. You don't you don't even need to run healing anymore, right? Um, these weapons have built-in shield break, which you can see right here. We're breaking uh, right through the uh, you know, Aegis shield on on the Skyros robot. And I'm just constantly jumping left and right, man. I'm everywhere. I steal every kill. Uh, and uh, I do a tremendous amount of damage even in short range. You see, this is the typical super meta angler. He's got the claw, jaw, talon weapons on it. He's got the face shift. You know, he's got... I think the cloaking, yeah, there it is, and he's got um, <clears throat> just generally everything you can currently have to be as hard to take down as possible. Um, but with this jump unit and the dashes, it's near impossible for him to, t to take my targeting system away. My damage output is pretty high too, um, and uh, yeah, and then I get it. <laughs> pretty crazy, man. This really is an insane thing. Uh, and here I wish I would have gotten my jump unit faster because look at this, pop. I was getting in 150 meters range, but a split second too late. Look at this jump, man. Look how freaking fast we get. On any map, you'll jump through the entire map with this much speed. Look at this. That's just crazy. I think this is the fastest long dash that I've ever done in my life. The Strider didn't get this fast during his uh, long jump. If you timed it perfectly, you didn't get this fast. Um, and although I feel it's a little harder to pull off with the nether, uh, when you get it right, it's insane how fast you get. But you have a lower jump. The Strider jumps maybe because he's a little slower in the dash. He jumps higher. So sometimes you cannot jump as high as you would like to to get over a building or something. Uh, but yeah, it's basically instant win and this is the free-for-all version of it. And in a few seconds, I'll give you the Beacon Rush gameplay that I got together, okay? So let's go for it, get some kills here. And pop this Muromets there. Although there's a Titan shooting him. Ah, okay, it wasn't my Muromets. Um, maybe I would have should have waited a second longer there because then he would have been blinded. But hey, it's okay. Let's go and make him use his uh, reflector. I think it's gonna happen any second now. He notices he's getting shot. He can't hit me, so 
Yeah. Oh, he's gonna do the jump, so I'm dashing away, but I still got hit, I think, from his from his frog splash explosion. Sometimes I don't understand the, the size or the distance, the, the, the radius of these explosions. Um, I'm often surprised by how far I get blinded by the angler. It seems like I'm outside the circle, but somehow the game says I got blinded. Or, in this case, I think I was 130 meters away from his frog splash, but the game said you got hit. Either it's a, like a little desync between the players, or it's uh, literally that uh, there is a big, um, a big, bigger splash radius than I thought that would be. So that was free fall, 16 kills, 6 million damage, not a single robot spawned other than this one nether, right? It was very close this one time, but then I got a kill and pop, 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 there goes my health back up. And um, yeah, so let's hop into the next one. And this is now Beacon Rush. So yeah, let me show you what this long dashing looks like. Mm, I didn't pull it off all the way perfectly, but maybe it's good because if I had done it perfectly, I would have raced against this, this thing in the air. And then also, you see I'm stealthed now because I realized um, in one of the attempts I made before, if you don't have the beak drone, right? If you're running a, like a combat drone that will give you on-kill damage like we had before, uh, it's great, you're a good killer and damage dealer, but you will be, um, you will not be very effective at, uh, at brawling, no, at, at capturing beacons. Because what keeps you alive when you use jump unit, you have no healing, is being stealth. So, in order to pull off this instant win thing, um, you need the beak drone on, on the nether, right? So, yeah, let's go and uh, have some fun. Uh, I'm jumping in with, uh, with the Fenrir now to, nail, to put the last nail in the coffin of these enemies, basically. I'm jumping over the center line here and landing on the beacon because I also have a jump unit here. However, we have a level 1 basic starting drone equipped because I wasn't planning on using this Fenrir. Uh, I took the drone away and I slapped it on something else, uh, and uh, yeah, turns out now I'm playing the Fenrir and I have no drone on it, or a level one, what is it, I don't even know what the drone is, right? uh, it's, uh, it's like it has zero effect, it has nothing. Um, but the Fenrir is powerful enough even, even without drones. And if you give this thing the right drone, man, this, it's just gonna, it's just gonna be like a titan. It, maybe, maybe even like two titans sometimes it depends what shoots you right if titan weapons fire at you you get down really quickly because they bypass your resistance with but it's only regular weapons shooting you from robots it's like impossible to kill this fender serious seriously especially with the right drone setup um but yeah so about the giveaway that's what i wanted to say before ha, it's, it's coming back to me i wanted to say that um for those of you who have uh, not won Obviously, it's a, just a small chance, and um, I understand it's frustrating, but I hope you guys are just uh, seeing it, it for what it is, a free chance to win something, it doesn't work. Okay, next time, maybe, right? Uh, and because there will be always a next time, uh, just stay tuned for it, um, and I'm hoping I can get you guys. Uh, maybe make you a winner next time. Here, again, you saw I messed up my jump. I wanted to land up all the way on that beacon, uh, but um, I, I didn't time it perfectly, uh, and so I failed. Um, but that allowed me to get the other beacon instead. So now we have uh, the scorpion on me and this nether uh, But uh, my harpoon weapons here the, the the needle I think it's called it's pretty good I dropped this one nether to last stand now I'm dropping him to last stand after he's taking his last stand. I'm gonna finish off this dude S Weirdly enough. I finished him with one shot. How is that possible? That you know this doesn't make sense because before you can see take a look how much damage we do per shot Yeah, we do like 40, 35% damage, and he comes out of his last stand. Wait a minute, I skipped too far, I'm sorry. He comes out of his last stand, and now I'm doing like 65% damage in one hit. Why did that happen? I, I, uh, yeah, it's awkward, it's really weird. Sometimes it seems like there is a, there is a, a wrong calculation of damage in the game, where suddenly uh, a shot gets count twice or something. Like it's, you shoot once, but the game detects the hit, and then it detects the hit again, and it doubles the damage, basically. I'm not sure if that's really what's true, you know? I, I could be completely wrong, but I, this is what it feels like to me sometimes. It's weird. Uh, but it doesn't happen very often, and I think most of the time I saw it with uh, the Shock Train. The Shock Train weapon is the one that showed me this uh, the, the, uh, as many times, uh, like the highest frequency. Jesus, you know what I'm trying to say, right? I don't know how to put the words right now. It happened the most amount of time. 
How do I even say this? It sounds wrong when I say it like this. Um, but yeah, so here's a raven, and he's doing the old raven spell. No, actually, it's new. It's not the old, because it's only after he got the legendary pilot, um, he uh, now that the raven has for a little while now, not so long. Um, and uh, yeah, now he can have stealth. And ah, oh, man, I should make... You know what? I want to make another raven video, because I really enjoy playing it. It's a robot you didn't really see in the game anymore, but ever since that legendary pilot, it's a really a beast. It's a beast. This thing is a meta robot now. And although you guys didn't really believe me um, at first, I've shown you two videos before, and I believe I was able to prove to you that the Raven is in fact really strong now with this legendary pilot. For now, let's leave it as that. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for participating in the giveaway. Again, sorry if you're not among the winners. I'm just doing. I'm trying to do my best here, giving, giving you guys some free stuff. But there can never be as many winners and happy people as there can be um, not happy people at the end of the giveaway, sadly. <laughs> okay, so catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.